This is, this is how great Fox else. is. You know what Fox does? They have restrooms. It doesn't say man or woman. We are so right. ahead of our time. Though I have to say, at Fox, it is clear who's male and who's female. Yes, it's very it's, clear. Uh, because, you know, I've never wondered. Right, here, here's the thing. They'll do this thing, and they'll, 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 one of the great things about being on Fox, and I imagine other television places, they'll, they, they try to control your look so they'll give you clothes. And there's a women's trunk show, which you show up and point out stuff that might fit you, and there's a male trunk show. And there's never any controversy. So I may start it. I may be I may be the the Rosa Parks of the wardrobe department. I may show up and say, you know what, I want some dresses. You know, make that stand of the them. Daily Caller. We don't need that controversy at Fox. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> Can you do no, that? No, no. But the thing is, where was all? You know, the the Democratic Party acts like there was this deep reservoir of hatred towards transgenders. I've never met a single person who was mad at transgenders. I don't know many people who've met a transgendered person, but there wasn't like a wave of bigotry or lynching of transgendered people. Like they're trying to solve a problem that doesn't exist. Your average American is totally tolerant and nice. Right. So I know the president's pretending that the average person's like a, 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 a proto Klansman or a bigot. That's, that's a crock. Americans are super, super nice. And if you say, you know what, I feel like dressing women's clothing. Everyone's like, okay, that's cool. Cause that's right. what Americans are like. So instead of just going with that, which is pretty, you know, it's like a fine status quo. They have to set up these new laws in order to prove that the average person is a bigot. This is an attack on the average person is what it is. Well, I would say this. Uh, it would be a bigger deal in our workplace if we said we wanted to dress like women. Because we'd have, there's people we have to tell first. Like, and it, well, we'd, we'd have the ACLU on our side immediately. You right. want to take a stand? I'd rather not take I a stand. You... There's so many things to take a stand for. But. <laughs> <laughs> Especially since, let's be honest, I don't think you'd be a very attractive woman. And I, and I don't mean that in a mean way. I know I wouldn't. All furry and lumpy. You kidding? Hmm. I am so uncomfortable right now, and yet it's my show. <laughs>